Hey, welcome back to D20 House, where a bunch of friends get together, roll dice, and slay monsters. <laughs> it happened. Illegal it's National happened. 20. Is that the really only the first time? 20 of the night. At least with the big die. At least with the big die, yeah. Guys, it's Monday night, which means tonight we're playing My Hero Academia Dungeons and Dragons. Ian, did you move the fucking camera? Uh, I moved it over ever so slightly so that it doesn't catch nearly as much of Adriana's <laughs> position's top of the head. My, my brain's all screwed up about it. Yeah. Thanks. Guys, we I'm, got Wyatt, Ty, uh, Ian, hey. and myself, Top, and we're going to have a great time. Whoa. I hope all of you are ready to have a great time. But, any announcements, Ian? Yeah. First, uh, Jaden. Jaden Dark, Walker's Guardian. Thanks for resubscribing. Nine months. And we got Shade Boy. Thank you for gifting one sub. Hey. And PJ Boy. Welcome back. Thanks for resubscribing. 19 months. Was that PJ Boy or did PJ he Boy get the sub? 19. No, no. Uh, ben 74746. Hey. I do not recognize your name, but welcome to being subscribed. Yeah. Welcome to the club. Thanks, PJ Boy. You were here pre stream. Obviously, you know us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm excited. All right. Uh, no other announcements? Uh, other announcements. We have fiddled with the white balance. We're not so shiny. Mm -hmm. uh, my girlfriend was a professional photographer, and it's taken me over a year to finally ask her, hey, can you fix these wonky-ass cameras that I set up forever ago and know nothing about? We're playing with the sound. Let me know how things continue to sound. I'm trying to clean things up a little better. I'm trying to get things a little bit better balanced. We got the third new nice mic. That means two left for the Dungeons and Dragons setup. And then we got to see if that old blue Yeti will work good for the couch streaming. Mm -hmm. Couch gaming is coming along. I ordered a couple wrong pieces. Those will be in hopefully by the end of the week. And we will continue testing. And hopefully that'll be all we need. And then we'll start running some uh, practicals. Sweet. It's going to be great. There is the official announcement. We are starting with the Outlast series. Yay. And Wyatt is going to be primary player. Hey. Outlast. Oh no. Yeah. Hey, I'm so happy. <laughs> there is no set day for those. Those will be announced ahead of time. Week of, usually, I guess. Yeah, week of at least. I'll do some announcing live when we know that one's going to happen. We'll be announcing on our Discord that you should join. Link, I think it's below where you guys are watching us right now. Uh,. We'll be announcing those through those. The first couch streaming, we are going to take, we're going to be considering Monday night as our prime slot as it is. Uh, so we will be taking a night off of My Hero at some point in the relatively near future to run our first couch gaming stream. Mm -hmm. See how you guys like it. We'll be starting with the very first Outlast. Terrible graphics, but oh, the ambiance. We are working on some uh, tip rewards that just like how we have for our D&D &D streaming we're not quite sure for the Outlast series if we're going to implement those but for things like when we hit up Halo Reach afterwards mm -hmm. uh, there will be things where you guys can choose our game modes you can choose what kind of maps we're playing on all that fun stuff and as we continue to go uh, there will be a cloud bot key for that there is not currently I believe that is announcements. So just to clarify, that irregular gaming couch stream is not going to replace the Thursday night stream. It is not going to replace the Thursday night stream, no. Baldur's Very Gate cool. is going to continue all the way through Baldur's Gate, and we might keep just our straight, regular video game and format. Mm -hmm. There's been a little bit of talk. We're considering moving that over as a subscriber-only show. Well, be just as an extra little bonus to you guys that actually enjoy and support us cut yeah. through. There are a handful of you who pay money to watch a bunch of jackasses play video games poorly, so, you know. <laughs> God, have we been playing Baldur's Gate poorly. <laughs> oh, oh. I don't know what you're talking about. I play perfectly. You, you've been doing very well. It's hard to mess up. I'm an Harsk archer. carries hard. <laughs> like, Harsky's playing Harsky? You play Harsky and Freezy Pop? I'm, I'm Freezy Pop, and I'm, I'm playing true to Freezy Pop. He's not playing true to Harsk. Okay. He's, no. he's just made a ranger <laughs> named Harsk. Yeah. Man, Harsk is an old in-joke for Ty as a player. Man, it's my first experience with you as a person, so... 
I think that's when you were the avatar. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was when the uh, the avatar altars were still a thing. My, the altars were still the thing in Mad King and not the gods. My first session was you visiting the lion turtle in the caldera. But anyway. Um, yeah. That was, this is a good session. Years ago. Guys, uh, I don't think we have any other announcements, right? No, I believe that is it. Yeah. So no Adriana tonight. Unfortunately, I'm sure you've noticed. But there is one more announcement. Oh, yeah. Uh, and that is officially Friday. Vast Horizons is not going to be in, but it will be, barring somebody getting sick again, the first stream of our mechanized infantry high fantasy dwarves campaign. <laughs> yeah. We got some grizzled boys. We got an iron golem. We're going to go trudge through them green skins and we are going to leave nothing alive. Okay, you can continue. All right, yeah. Um, so, yeah, Vast Horizons is postponed um, at least for a little while because there's some life shakeups happening for players. And um, Adriana is missing tonight. I might be missing a couple more weeks. We'll know pretty quickly. But don't worry, My Hero is still going to be happening. Regularly scheduled bullshit from the lads. And uh, who knows? You know, there might be a couple of fun surprises in the interim. I'm sad she'll have to miss him, but. Holy Night of Ian, thank you for your warm words of encouragement to Wyatt and the 100 biddies. What did he say? Uh, you are going to cry, Wyatt, and I'm going to enjoy it. Why is it Thank you, you guys. Spelled... <laughs> um... Why is it spelled in dash joy? Oh, it is. In dash joy. In dash joy. In joy. I hate that. He, is, he will be he is in, in the, the state joy. of joy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a legal resident of joy. Okay. We're going to get right into it then, guys. Where last we left our heroes. Who remembers where we left off? Man, we got back from the hospital. I'm dealing with a bit of an identity crisis because the pros totally sucked ass. Yeah, and like it is, there is nothing that has caught me more off guard than that knowledge. Because I was certainly not privy to that knowledge at any point until well afterwards. I was unconscious, I'll have you know. I've been, I've been saying it for months. <laughs> mm-hmm. Everyone's everyone's getting up to your speed, Walker. Mr. Pro pro hero over here. We can't understand. Mr. Shill of the system, like no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, what about you, Kite? What's going on? Uh, there was a the sleepover, and I said no. Good man. Leaving room for Jesus. The okay. boys built the best pillow fort. Yeah, Confirmed. the boys did build the best pillow fort. Until Momo started crafting structural supports. <laughs> no. Um. Yeah, so we're going to pick up Monday morning. If Momo did that, we would have laid siege. I, I know. You can't let your enemy get stronger than you. <laughs> you've just, Ian, you've just described a security dilemma in high school. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that. Poli sci. Um, yeah, we're going to get right into it. Monday morning. We wake up in our pillow fort in the what? living room. Okay. We uh, wake up and uh, we're going to get right back into school, unfortunately. I jostled my connection. Is that better? <laughs> I fucked it up. Ian crying, it like... It's not your connection. It was uh, the difference in people's voices from the way that we tested. Oh, okay. Uh, gotcha. Okay. Holy night, Ian. Thanks for the 100 biddies. Thank you, Yuga. Body slam. Body slam. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Body them. Um, Monday, body we the, get up and about, teleport. but guys, we have some shit going on this week, if anyone might remember. Walker, you've shit going on this week, yeah. and you were planning on bringing some of your friends into your shit. Yeah. You also know that at least your characters know, but not everyone knows, by the end of this week, Ito should also have some shit going on. Some probably much more dangerous and important shit than yours. I'm not privy to that knowledge, actually. I don't believe you are, but... Nobody tells me shit. He yeah, is, yeah. Ito and Ito they need something right? from me. I love my friends. Zhao Fei would do anything. You just have to ask him. But everyone's like, no, let's not communicate. <laughs> Trying to protect your innocence, okay? <laughs> His innocence. <laughs> I've got a goth girlfriend, okay? Yeah. You can't protect shit. So, two second pause. I got, I got a story for y'all. Oh no. Oh, this is good. So I was at my in-law's house this weekend. Oh no. And I'm playing this game with my mother-in-law, my wife, 
and her two two sisters. This is this is the background for this con the background context for the story. We're playing a game called uh, whatever bullshit. But the premise of the game is someone asks a question, and then everyone writes their answer down, and they turn it in, and someone reads it, and they have to like pick their answer, right? And you have to guess who wrote what. That's the point of the game: is you guess who wrote what. Mm -hmm. So, Adriana's mother pulls the question: What is the root of all evil? Fine question. Fine question, right? The answers all get turned in and they're read. The answers are... Government. Your mother. <laughs> your mother. <laughs> your mother. <laughs> and big titty goth chicks. <laughs> At this point, I'm thinking... You're outed. <laughs> I, I suspect they know what I wrote. <laughs> oh, Please no. resume. <laughs> with, your, with, your, with your Dungeons & Dragons storytelling. <laughs> Please resume with your highfalutin <laughs> role-playing game. It's really not. <laughs> I'm dragging this shit by the seat of my so pants. So that's what I did this weekend. <laughs> nice. But at um, least you're wearing pants. Uh, <laughs> based. Wearing pants. Yeah, the audience has seen your pants. You know, they haven't seen mine. When I've been wearing them. You stood up five minutes ago. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Why do I have to wear pants? As soon as Adrian is gone, this whole stream just turns to shit. Has anyone noticed, noticed that? <laughs> <laughs> Last time she's gone, that has happened too. Something, something, the feminine touch. Something. <laughs> well, at the very least... <laughs> Honestly, I'm I'm a Don't rub your eyes sarcastically at me. You are one fourth of this problem. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with y'all. Your that... Monday really doesn't matter much. Yeah. Cool. I mean, you go to class, you go to lunch. I hang out with Aoyama for a little bit. Nothing crazy I'll happens. Hang, I will also hang out with Aoyama for a little bit. You you want to join lunch crew for a day? The lunch okay. crew. I will sit with, I will sit with, I'm trying to be nicer to Aoyama. We've bonded over cultural trauma. <laughs> <laughs> My God. <laughs> it rhymes with Herman. Um... All right. I believe... It's been a week since Culture Festival was announced, yeah? Yes. Cool. So you guys have a history test um, that you all have to catch up on. So we're going to make some history some history test rules. I, I can't get less than 120. Well, you're good. Don't roll. Well, <laughs> unless I mean, you, want, for the unless you want extra credit, in which case you can roll. I'll just take the 20. Okay. At 15, pretty good. Not 18. Yeah, I hope you guys studied it all. That's I did not. <laughs> I study every Monday. Yeah, I just assume my Monday is a study day. Yeah, it is. Monday, so, study day, Tuesday, gym study day, and then it's right into my internships mm -hmm. for the rest of the week. And then I may or may not use Gambler as my only stat for rolling. Very good. <laughs> uh... Hey, I mean, it's... Uh... It's a B solid. On a test? Uh, test were out of 200. Test were out of That's 100. That's finals. Test were out of 100. Yeah. Oh. Finals were out of 200. Yeah, you're good. And who knows what they'll be this year. I feel like with all the shit going down, UA just needs to be like, okay, look, we need to stop testing on this written shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're still a high school, right? They're not just a hero school. Yeah. Uh, Kai, what'd you get? 87. Holy shit, he beat you, Walker. I the rolled a 15. <laughs> what did you to do? I didn't study at all this week. <laughs> I studied once. Weeks. I haven't studied all this month. That's an A solid. Kai, very good. Walker, that's a, that's a B solid. Bro, I haven't been in school since like 2020. What do you want from me? <laughs> I know. <laughs> And uh, Ito, I know she studied, so uh, I'm going to hold on to that, but I might just give her a good grade. <laughs> uh, she's never, never has poor grades, so I'll talk to Adriana about that off stream. Cool. Thanks, guys. Um, I'm not going to worry about your gym test because Izo is not going to make you do a fucking physical exam after the oh, weekend. Oh, my God, because I'm tired as fuck. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you spent the weekend in the hospital. I think so. I put well, my physical gonna, aptitude. They're not, gonna, they're not gonna make us run around to Baseball Diamond after we save their fucking asses. They're not gonna make Since you... we're the only ones with a confirmed how shield. How kind the of them. <laughs> they're not gonna make you climb a rock wall or swim swim a couple laps like when no. we did their job for them oh, <laughs> how can how considerate can i get a pj salt in the chat okay uh <laughs> okay but yeah monday we hang out with aoyama 
Nice. Our French friend. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, can you roll sense motive checks for me? Both of you. Not you. Unless you're with them. <laughs> but I <laughs> wanted to. Oh, okay, fine. I'm the not guy. there, though. So. <laughs> ah. Something's wrong. I can feel well, it. You get the nat 18 on the first roll. You get the nat 7 on the second one. Shit goes off kilter. That, that, you know what? That being said, my sense motive is decent. With friends, that's 20. Total? 40. <laughs> fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> fucking shit, man. <laughs> It's like, I don't even know why they're sitting in the same room, you know? <laughs> you. Just a second here. Both of you. What, do, what oh, did yeah? you roll? Shadow Crow 666. Thanks for resubscribing. What did you roll? Or thanks die? for first subscribing. New subscribing. Shadow Thank what, you. sir? Shadow Crow. Hey. Right? Yes. Thank Shadow you. Crow. Okay, I did not misread that. It's good to see you. 666. It's usually a lot less I, stupid than this. The moderator's gone. Hail Santa. I know. It's It gets so bad when she's gone. I, uh, I rolled a 14. Ah, okay. That's a fair roll. Yeah. It's above average. Yeah. Good roll. Let's see Paul Allen's roll. I have uh, a passive 22. And then man. four with my maxed out friendship with Aliyah. <laughs> Very good. And me. And you. Well, yeah, but it's a targeted charisma check, so yeah. I'm supposed to take it yeah. from... It's not actually I'm using my friendship morale. I could mm -hmm. actually use that another time in the same round. Well, they uh, won't stack the morale. They don't bonuses, stack, so. but but like if I also had to suddenly make a perception roll, yeah, I yeah, could yeah. then use the true morale or whatever. I like, how you, I like how you just say his name and he shows up in chat. Who? The PJ boy. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, invoke him. It's like if you, say, it's like if you fucking say the candy man three times in the mirror, you know? <laughs> I'm going to do that in the dark, in the mirror in the dark room. What's not you're asking for? <clears throat> oh, no. PJ. PJ boy, PJ boy, PJ boy. It's supposed to be a role play session. <laughs> Is it? PJ boy. I need a break. <laughs> I almost died. Fetch me their souls. Okay. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> that being said, Aoyama is upset, and you know it. And Aoyama was upset this weekend, too. Yeah, that's true. But you pick up with, like, even more... You, you pick up to very definitively, like... You like read it in diary. Aoyama, there's like something really eating him. There's something going on in his little head. Like a parasite? Maybe. He does he's have a poor a, constitution. He's got a mind flayer worm. My god. He's been Boy, playing so too skinny. much Baldur's Gate. <laughs> <laughs> something eating his brain? Just mm -hmm. saying. There's there's something there's something really getting him. What's up, Bob? What's uh you okay? Yeah, he just kind of like looks up from his meal. Oh, that's a no. Um. No. Uh. Why do you Why do you ask? I just, you know, it's very obvious that something's going on. I, I'm not gonna pry much more than this, but I just want you to know, you know, if you if you want someone to talk to or just listen, I'm here. Yeah, no, I noticed it too. And I know the I know the uh the British guy's not exactly you're probably tough confident, but uh So just offer to fuck off. What 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 Jow said. <laughs> um I can see that you're troubled. I just want you to know I won't be there for you. And I that way. <laughs> I don't care you broke your elbow. <clears throat> I know you're going through a really tough time right now, and I just want you to know that I'm not here for you. <laughs> I hope it gets worse. I, I hope you do something terrible to yourself oh and I can god. be at the funeral and I just want to know that I could have prevented this. <laughs> oh my <thing>. god. <laughs> no, I just Yeah, he just kind of sits there for a second. Um I was just I feel like so many of you have had such a rough go at this year and you know, I'm glad to miss out on so much of the danger and the, and because I'm I'm not I'm not like all of you. I can't. Well, no, you're white and you have blonde hair. Well, you're pretty close to Walker. Well, you got better taste in food. Well, no, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just worry. That's all. Is Sue okay? I know she was back last night, and... I know she's going to class, but... I mean, like, she's recovering, yeah. Yeah, she's alright. It was a tough one for her. 
Look, I, yeah, I'm mad. This is gonna sound impersonal, but don't be upset because you missed the shit. You know, I don't. I'm not. I'm just. I just wish none of you had to go through any of it to begin with. You know? Yeah. I'm sorry, when you guys, when you guys, like, signed the paperwork for UA, did you not, isn't this, like, explicitly what you signed up for? Is to do exactly what we've been doing? Exactly. Like, it's, it's, well. Why are we wishing that we're not supposed to be doing this? I thought that was exclusively what we signed up for. Well, I mean. It's I what think, I'm here for. I think, I think on a grander scale, I think what he's saying is that he doesn't, I don't think anybody should go through certain things, but. I digress. I think we're all at UA for a reason, whatever that reason may be, because we all have something we contribute to this class. And I think we've seen recently that There's a lot of people who are going to be counting on us. So, you missed the first couple. You know, don't wish it on anybody, I suppose, but I highly doubt at the rate we're going that it's going to be the last opportunity. Maybe. I mean, we're still in our first year. Not mm -hmm. everyone in class is involved in work studies, and I know when we all are out there with our boots on the ground, being heroes professionally, that it's just going to get harder, and it's going to be more scary, and I know that's what we all signed up for, I just, I feel like so much of this could have been prevented. Yeah, maybe. But couldn't have been prevented by us, but I suppose now we've got a chance to do something about it and prevent it for somebody else. Zhao, when Walker says that, there's something on Aoyama's face that really just sells absolute despair. But you also have the feeling he's really just, he like, he's not going to talk about it, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Oh. But yeah, anyways, don't, don't beat yourself up too much. Sometimes it, yeah. other people's actions aren't your fault. For absolute narrative purposes, any player who will, for my sake, for the sake of the story going forward here, decrease their friendship level with Aoyama is going to get a fat inspiration die for you. Thanks. Right now. I mean, right now. Like, like and that's because not, of what I've said, Aoyama is, maybe. does not feel as close to me. I absolutely will take the hit. Yeah, not saying like you think less of him so yeah. much as... I still think the world of him, but I could understand. This conversation has done something in his head, and he's he's going to start pulling back. So if any of you are, have a friendship level with him and want to decrease it by one... I don't think I have any. I do. I'm full up. <laughs> yeah. you, you, could, you, could, you could take Question. That. What sure. is below not talking to him? <laughs> well, you're neutral, so you could be suspicious. I think I'm taking, actively I can hating. take one down into suspicious. No, you're not going to go into suspicious. <laughs> you're, you're good. You're actively suspicious of him? It's not that he's, he's actively sus suspicious of you. It's not that he's suspicious of anyone, you know, obviously. It's just that he's like... He's just like, oh, I don't feel safe. He He's pulling back because his mental health is so poor. he fucked up. It's going to start affecting his friendship. He's a rat bastard. <laughs> Shut up, Ian. <laughs> no rat bastard. <laughs> Kai, you are approached in your tree during lunch. Fuck. We need to talk. Oh, shit. I was hoping you forgot. It's the bird, man. So you would forget I existed. The man bird. How did you the find me? The man bird, man. <laughs> the bird, man, bird, man. <laughs> 
This gives me very big mm -hmm. TF2 headless horseless headman energy. Thanks for that. Answer the question. <laughs> what did you ask? I'm sorry. How did you find me? You are always here. You got me there. After class, do you have time to talk? I suppose. Good. I'll wait for you at Heights Alliance. It's the dorms. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Where? 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 Beat you at Heights Alliance, guys. Just like what? <laughs> That's where you lay your head at night, sir. That being said, uh, yeah. Toru's lap. Stop. It's, it's called Heights Alliance. Stop it. That's a weird name for it. <laughs> Is canon in the context of like plot canon spelled with one or two n? One n. One you. n. Bitches love canons with two n's, but nerds are obsessed with canon with one n. Nick Cannon. Stop it. What? Cannons are indeed part of human canon. I'm bored. Okay. Other than that, other than that, Monday just kind of blasts by quickly. You guys can get some studying done. It's a study day. Mm -hmm. What's the next test in? Oh, good question. Who cares? I study in that. I get um, one study bonus. Literature puts me over to like 110, yeah. 120 on any. Puts me at seventy-two. Yeah. So on the roll. I believe. I believe <laughs> this week enough. is a literature test. So pop, pop. Nice. That's a uh, cement Austin's class. Good man. I think that's one of my big bonus classes because I get to use my scribe on it too. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, Monday night. I need everyone to roll a d twelve for me. Walker, I, Walker, I fucked up. What? What? The bird wants to talk. What? Five, twelve. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> The bird wants to kite that Five, is the most, 12, 7. That is the most vague, incomprehensible bullshit you've ever told me. What? The one that's like not Zhao. Tokoyami. Sure. Okay. <laughs> what does he want to talk to you about? I don't know. <laughs> well, then why does he want to talk to you? I don't know. The that's bird why I fucked up. Which one? The ethnically diverse one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah. Diversity higher. My God. <laughs> Diversity bird. <laughs> well, everybody's heard. <laughs> okay. What? Okay, why is that a bad thing? I don't know. Um, is it just because he wants to talk to you and you have to talk to somebody? Yeah, generally. <sighs> God, you can... We've gone over this. You can talk to people. You just have to deep, deep breath in, count to five beforehand, and you can do it. Remember, if I give steps. you my power of attorney... Can you talk to him for me? No, I, you, why would you give me your power of attorney? I'm You're already doctor. your doctor. <laughs> I'm insane or something. I don't know. Write me a prescription. Oh, just go talk to him. Give, give him a leave of absence here's doctor. <laughs> he, he, talks, he, talks on, he only talks slightly more than you just do. Just in blood. Say? I don't know. Probably okay. something along the lines of, as I wandered, weak and weary, once upon a midnight. <laughs> and then you'll be done. What are you worried about? Oh. You decreased by a level with Aoyama. Yeah, take yeah. A, take I'll a, take that. Take a D8. Point. I understand why that would happen, so yeah. I'm, I'm cool with that. Aoyama does not feel worthy to be your friend. A D8? Yeah. All right, I got a D8 inspiration and one hero point. <laughs> yeah, 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 but That's enough okay. to live. Cool. I've survived do, on less. <laughs> do, do you, like, need me to walk with you or something? Yeah, yeah, like... yeah. Like, hide around the corner? Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That night you find Tokoyami, or the afternoon you find him at the dorm room, like uh, commons. In the corner in his tuxedo. When the dorm rooms are like, the commons are relatively clear, or at least the side of the room where like the game station is, he tells you, come sit with me. Okay. I have a question for you. I totally want to sit on his lap. <laughs> roll perception. That casually. Yeah. You have to roll like a. I think a 23, which is not hard. Perception 23 is not horrible. With for... my with my plus five perception. Are you fucking serious? Uh... I mean, it's not a class skill. What, okay. what, part, of, my, what part of not a skill-based character? I have like three do skills. You have plus four because we're friends. Christ. I do have plus four, so I'm adding nine. 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 So I need to roll 14. 14 or... This feels like a big bad moment. Okay. This feels like a burn all your prestige moment. I don't give a fuck. 
Ah, uh, uh, very good. <laughs> it's like I'd like to roll. I'd like to spend a hero point. <laughs> He's like, a hero point. I like roll. to spend a hero point when no. I'm using a dice that's not legal. legal. Never ever rules. roll that on a hero point situation, please. Love yourself more no. than that. No, no, no. I'm spending. If <laughs> I'm spending resources, and it matters that much. Okay. So you don't overhear their conversation, which is fine. Kite, you're just sitting there at the shogi table where people play board games and stuff with Tokoyami. Do they play D and D? No. Uh, although Tokoyami is trying to get that to happen, I'm in, um, yeah, and he's just like sitting across from you. He's got he's got an Aoyama on board, which is really unusual. I don't think that's unusual at all. It's that Aoyama <laughs> would want to play D and D. It's unusual that Aoyama would want to. He wants to socialize around and role with play Tokoyami and pretend to be someone else. <sighs> Tokoyami, you know, is absolutely going to play like, the really edgy necromancer, tonight. and Aoyama is going to be like the flashy knight. I am going to be the assassin rogue. Oh my God. What <laughs> And then I karate chop his neck. Damn it. <laughs> I love shouting. <laughs> You're sitting at the table with him, and he asks you just immediately as you sit down, very frankly, has anything with your quirk felt different of late? And I don't mean the subtle change in your aesthetic. What do you mean by feel? Like in the bones? No. <laughs> <laughs> He just said no. He just missed his biggest opportunity to get Kite to tell him the truth. <laughs> Outside of the bones, no. Bones, no. He's just like, how do you manage we, to out edge Tokoyami? We must have very different bones. Well, yeah, presumably his are hollow. Yes. How would you know that, Doctor Man? That's why I said presumably. Have you dug around and found out? <laughs> I didn't know you were a veterinarian as well. <laughs> Calm down, NVIDIA. All right. All right. <laughs> You're uniquely qualified to comment on the matter, seeing as you're the only other person on this campus with a quirk like mine. I feel like since our last battle, my relationship with Dark Shadow has been strained. Like this last weekend? Yes. Huh. I, can, I suppose you can't give him, like, space. It's kind of like... No, I... I can. I can just choose not to summon him. But unlike your clown who wanders the world freely, when Dark Shadow is not manifested at my side, he just lives in the dark spaces of my mind and i'm not being metaphorical like your armpit <laughs> if i don't summon him out all day at any point for the entire day or night when i sleep he manifests in my dreams instead and normally that's not such a problem but like i said strained you he had... stabbing you? N no, I... Oh. What? <laughs> Forget I asked. I'm glad things are not so for you. Oh, I'm pretty dumb. You're super dumb. You're going to let something big slide. <laughs> Have you considered a sacrifice to your god? God! <laughs> <laughs> this is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. <laughs> like, I, I sacrificed so much blood to my guy, and I feel more powerful. And then Zhao made a promise to the mountains, and now he's got a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 like, looks at you, like, astonished for a second. I make offerings to the kami regularly. No, no, the one... Dark Shadow. That's what you called him. <laughs> I'm not a nihilist. I, I don't believe in the man-made god oh maybe you should mine's been working out great <laughs> <laughs> mm. i was hoping that you and i might have some commonality in this aberration well, but that was your first mistake 
Speaking about sacrifices, I forgot the forks. Shit. <laughs> to the cafeteria. Run. <laughs> Go. It's been pleasant talking to you. Good luck. Poor Tokiyami completely misunderstanding every line out of Kite's mouth I that know. he's ever said, ever. I know. He's like, he's he's not built for that, you know? <laughs> Kite's showing up at all these trainings and like, he's getting his suit fucked up and he, everybody should know by this point that he's got this huge gnarly new scar on his back and all this different bullshit. Well, the guys would know. Yeah. yeah. So like, Tokoyami's seen it and shit and then he's like, have you ever considered making a sacrifice to your god? And he's like, to like the commie, he's like, no, no, like the dark shadow one. He's like, oh, and he, and he thinks you're like describing the Ubermensch, you know? Like, I don't believe in a god of my own mind. It's like, no, motherfucker, you literally produce <laughs> what Kite views as a god because he views his clown as a god, mm -hmm. and he is making literal sacrifices to his clown. That's which is so fucked, by the way, that you worship <laughs> uh, a fragment of your own psyche as a god. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about uh, good mental health or something, right? Hey, that's, look, that's right? top tier <laughs> ego, right? Yeah, like, look, he tried to treat him like a cat, and that didn't work out at all. This god thing's working out pretty good. You just yeah. said the word god twice. <laughs> the god thing gave him a gun. Yeah, True. exactly. <laughs> the cat thing gave him clown. Dick. This is god given right. <laughs> <laughs> In the room with the libertarians. <laughs> proving, proving, proving once and for all that Jesus was a white guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh Jesus. No. He's white. <laughs> the, son of, the son of man or Obi-Wan Kenobi. The world may never know. Okay. Well, yeah, that's Tokoyami for you. Are you going to go collect 34 forks? 49. Well, 49. 49. Yeah, 49 forks. 49 forks. Uh, yeah. Walker. Yeah. Walker, I forgot. What? what? How'd you sing with Tokoyami go? Uh, it doesn't matter. What? I need to get 49 <laughs> forks. <laughs> I came all this way out of here, so I, I came out of here and walked here with you, so you could talk to Tokyo. What, what are you talking about, forks? Were you not listening? <laughs> Sacrifice to the gods. <laughs> Did you not make your own ears better? <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, Get the blood out of your ears and follow me to the cafeteria. I guess we're getting you forks. Dumb. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. You guys go to the cafeteria. Um, I love how Walker ends up implicit in both of your shit, too. Yeah. <laughs> the cafeteria is not open at this hour. Like, you can go in, but there's, like, nothing happening. There's yeah. forks. You have to, like, get... Oh, you have to, like, climb over the counter to, like, um, access oh the fucking uh, plastic tower that the... Oh, they don't have, like, out. a round where you, like, return the trays. They wouldn't have little things with just plastic forks and knives and ketchup packets mm. and stuff yeah actually they probably would yeah, yeah. like like any cafeteria anywhere in the world so I, the they don't have all of their utensils focused in one single spot i would see and that's funny because i was thinking about the cafeteria like that i've worked in that like does actually have everything focused like where you get your food what a terrible design flaw <laughs> yeah. what a horrible bottleneck <laughs> right <laughs> Like, oh, you like should the, have it where you get like your food. You should have one yeah, there that so that really, when people that, go by, they can grab all their stuff. Cafeteria. I went I went, I went, went to this college. It is a really shitty cafeteria. Like, it's really cool looking. And, like, you walk in there and you're like, whoa, this is really cool. And then you're like, oh, it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I've worked there for almost five years. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But, yeah, you, you have to, like skirt the rules to to get a hold of 49 forks and someone's gonna do inventory the next morning and be like what the fuck happened I'm you hungry. inventory on the plastic forks yeah you have to psychos you have to keep stock of that shit <laughs> you, you, look, you look at the bin and if it's empty you fill it with new fucking forks no, Jesus they, don't, Christ. they don't count them but you know they're gonna look at the bin and be like where'd they all go yeah <laughs> one of the bins is empty <laughs> Uh, but like yeah. those damn upperclassmen again. <laughs> the upperclassmen do do some weird shit on this yeah. campus. Do do. do, -do. I knew you fucking say that. <laughs> That's a metal pie. I'm not going to throw it at you. I might throw a plastic one. Cowards. I need your stupid brain intact for my live stream. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. You collect 49 forks. Yeah. For, for the, the clown. clown. You... Give he, them to him. Because he gave me the, the uh, what is it called? The hospital apron. Yeah. Yeah, he got you the, mm -hmm. the hospital. The, <laughs> the gown. The gown. Yeah, the gown. Okay. This is completely unrelated, but Milkman Conspiracy 615 is 
in my top five favorite usernames of all time. It's a, it's a very good <laughs> <laughs> shit. Holy shit, that goes hard. I love that. Like, nice. Like, there's something so ominous about the Milkman conspiracy. <laughs> Speaking of dark gods, who did you have to bribe for that name? Like, I, you get a hospital gown as a reward. And you get a token. Ooh. Roll D8 for, or D10 for me, I guess. Two. What's number two? Sword? <laughs> katana. Are you katana, fucking baby. serious? It's, the, a, it's the one. You get a goddamn Katana so, a summon token again. Hey, the, clown, hey. the clown knows what he likes. Holy shit. I love it. The most edge oh. per square meter. Yeah. Psychonaut reference. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Walker, are you going to... Tomorrow night, dude. Yeah. Your thing's tomorrow night. Are you going to yeah. let anyone in on that? Well, I mean, presumably. Otherwise, this would... Going to let him in defeat tomorrow the, evening. Defeat, defeat the purpose of the thing we talked about before the episode. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't talk anything about anything. Stick to the script. <laughs> Okay, now, now, I mean, now roll. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, yes. What am I rolling, Mr. Dungeon Master? Uh, a, a, a nineteen. Okay. <laughs> no, no. If you rolled a nineteen there, I'd cry. By the way. No, it was a nine. Got it. Teen. I promise. I promise. You cannot script a fucking D and D live stream. You can't you can, like, do it. You can like. You can tip off players. You can be sitting there. Oh, and it's like, hey, motherfuckers, look. This is the next mission you're going on. Yeah, <laughs> I mean you can do that in a normal D and D game. But you do that normal D and D games too. You can, you yeah. that's, can... I do that all the time. It's oh god, just, yeah. That's player buy-in. You can script D and D like you can get six cats in a space and technically call it herding cats. Yeah, like you can. The cats are all in the same room, mm -hmm. possibly participating in the same activity, mm -hmm. and they might have kind of a preconceived notion about what they're doing. That's why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Scripting D&D &D is like actually predicting the weather, you know? Like, you might know what you're talking about, but you have no way to know if you're going to be right. But yes, in all seriousness, I will, I will be Chaos Theory. texting Kite and Zhao because they're the writer dice for this one. Okay. Kite, I'm, Zhao, Monday night? I'm, I'm in. also going to text Aizawa oh, and shit. say, yep, this is what I got going on. Here's the crew thus far. Forward him a screenshot of the text and say, this is where we're going. This is when we're going to be there. I've done my dude. I've, I've upheld my end of the deal by telling you this. Milkman conspiracy theory. Thanks for following. Attention about big titty god girl. Well, clearly scripted. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You tell Aizawa. He summons you to his office. I mean, come on, you gotta. Right? He can't text you about it. Yeah. He could, but... Yeah. You're going you know, to a mandatory voluntary interview. <laughs> I imagine at this point I just like fling the door open. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm the worst. Okay. He does not um he is going to allow. <laughs> he's going to allow you to take Zhao and Kite alongside, but there are some things that go are going down here. Fair, fair. Terabyte is going to at least temporarily, with your permission, bug your phone. Do not click on any <laughs> of the folders labeled homework. <laughs> Stay away from it. Jeez, history. There's no homework in them. She built the security system for this school. She knows better. Okay. Nobody does homework on their phone, Terabyte. Yeah. Give her the time, Boomer. Yeah, that's <laughs> Boomer, she's our generation. No, no, she's well, no, she's even younger than us. Yeah. It's Boomer. all just pictures you know? of Give her the time of generation cigars. alpha. Because she's in she's in her mid thirties in twenty seventy. So uh, yeah, she's a forties kid. Same. She's a forties kid. Ah. Um yeah. She's going to uh, bug your device so she can keep tabs on if Black Hat does any weird shit to your phone that's or is like tracking you or anything. In fact, I would say that's a good idea. Either. Yeah, she's shielding you. Um, and with permission, she's going to do the same thing to your teammates. Sorry, Kite. Not for the not forever, just for the duration of this mission. Yeah, sure. Here. 
Oh cool. man, I just got this phone. As long as you guys are on UA grounds, my our security folders, folders, system will sweep homework. your devices like occasionally to make sure shit doesn't happen like this. But when you leave the school and you're going against a hacker villain, she's going to give you guys some mobile security. Which is appreciated. Good. Honestly. It's a good call. Terabytes are very cool. And my phone's completely safe. Okay. I mean, Aww. Kai doesn't even have a phone. Yo. <laughs> Braden Turbo has gifted I... 10 subs. Thank you very much. Holy shit. Pam, Pam, once again, that is... subscribe to our channel. Hey. <laughs> that is a length of names, and I'm not going to read them all, but I'm welcome, everybody. Thanks, guys. I recognize a good couple of the names. Some friends. Nope. I'm not subscribed. Nope. Like said, you didn't get one. <laughs> oh, eat shit. <laughs> okay. Cool. Do we have an operating procedure for this? I don't even know what we're doing. That's me asking you, you just told how, me we're uh, going. character, but also as Aizawa a little bit. I mean, presumably we're just going to go where the guy said to go and fucking meet him. Like, so far this one seemed pretty cut and dried. From what I understand, Black Hat is a villain information broker. The same way that Giran was a weapons and assets dealer. So he's going to want something. Or he'll want a substantial amount of money. But he said to you that you'll haggle a price. Yeah. Do I have? Did we? Did I make a substantial? Did I get paid for this most recent fiasco that we just got ourselves into? You didn't get a bonus. I mean, you're you you got your you got your hazard payout. <laughs> You got your hazard payout, which is good. I get time and a half. Um, you're probably on time and a half, yeah. Mm. So that's good. You're you're making more money than usual, yeah. And you got your hazard pay. Can I afford a large cash bribe to a villain? Maybe. Maybe. I just won some money in a death match. That's true. You have some money. Yeah. Well. Chow, are you are you I should I should I should ask you first, are you okay if we potentially use your ill gotten winnings as leverage for information with the villain and information broke? God, it really sounds shitty when I say it like that. I mean it? you put me in the death pit, so you might as well spend the money. Well, I'm gonna put it like that. If <laughs> Damn. God. Damn. If we're struggling with means. I can't. <laughs> I can't. If we're struggling for it. means, we can always ah. procure the funds. <gasps> Are we going to rob a bank? No. Okay, good. Why would you get excited about that? Then? It just, it sounded really exciting. Are we going to rob you guys the car that dropped? <laughs> the you guys are here now. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Things... <laughs> It's it's really weird when Adriana's not here. We're sorry, everybody. Jaufe, you are going to have to hide your presence again. You're the most recognizable teenager in Japan. <gasps> Whose pocket do I get to sit in? Probably I don't care as long as you're hidden. Kite! Woo! Oh, uh, I don't have to hide now? yet. <laughs> I just like being in your pocket. Kite, That's Walker, we're going to work on your disguising. Yeah, the old <laughs> fake nose and mustache glasses really didn't cut it super well last time, considering I'm still... Neon white. I want both of you to report to the business students tomorrow during lunch. I'll set up people. an appointment for them. Yes, the third year business students take appointments. Wow. You haven't gotten into the hero business until you've had to deal with those types. They take appointments? Usually I just walk in. Then you haven't done real business with them. I don't know. Yui was cool. This is why I stay out of the spotlight. Mm -hmm. Can I keep the hat? Probably. It's Let's not up to go. me. You guys are walking in there. What could very well be a trap, but knowing... Knowing all of you, I'm sure you're ready for that kind of thing. And, uh... Well, information brokers... They're a fickle kind of villain anyway they're not the type to fight so much as they're the type to talk go on say it 
Play it, motherfucker. I'm just, I'm kind of upset because we did do official business with a third year business student because we formed buddy cops when a, when a third year support student was really upset that all of his stuff was going missing. And so we staked out the support studio and found out that one of the second years was stealing stuff because a villain was bribing him. And then I went to you and everybody else and we got the, and we tracked down and got his mom safe. And then the payout from the third year support student was that he gave us the information of the third year supports or business student and then we went to her and she gave me information that get me jiro as a girlfriend so i have done official business is it out of your system that's how we made buddy cops it's really important to me all right it did work too <laughs> that in the mountain the best part is your face after that little diatribe you look so pleased with yourself look at obi-wan kenobi looking at walker you're one. You're running point on this one with kite. Zhao Fei will be on hiding and sta on standby. I'll be nearby. You choose. You have chosen to include Aizawa in this one. Very fun. Who's gonna find out? Okay. That's all that Aizawa has for you guys tonight. Yeah. He said, "Yeah, it's, it could very well be a trap." But he said, you three are, he basically said, like, he basically said, you three are very capable and I'll be there to help you. Um, so, you know. Oh my God, dad's taking backup? Yeah. He's just going to sit back and wa watch us take point on this? Yeah, and he can't take point in himself. Yo, Pink. He's too, uh, you know, he's, he's a pro hero. Even if he's not a super, like, flashy one, people still yeah. know about him. Yeah. But this kid... Well, the guy wants you. He's just some British weirdo. <clears throat> you have to take point on this. You've been specially summoned. So. But Aizawa will be there within line of sight of you guys to help bail you out. Okay. Into the pocket. We've been having a fun session here tonight. Is there anything <laughs> else Anything else your characters want to prepare before going into this next adventure? I would like to prepare a milkshake. Fuck you. That brings all the boys <laughs> to the yard. My god. <laughs> it's going to be our inn. Anything I also else? need a steak. Wow. I gotta eat before we go. Good man. I thought you meant for the vampires. Wrong campaign. There's gonna be vampires? <laughs> wrong campaign. What do you mean wrong campaign? Which campaign? <laughs> Which campaign? <laughs> Okay, nothing else than uh, Monday night comes to a close. Walker? Yeah. You get a text on your phone. It's unusual. It's from Aoyama. That's more unusual. He asks if you can meet him out on the front steps of the dorm. Like Tell him you've got a girlfriend. in the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm going to text him first. Everything okay? He, honest to God, texts you back, no sparkle emoji. <laughs> I am going to text you. <laughs> Gel. And I am going, oh man. I'm going to text you and Ito. Oh, no. And just say, hey, Aoyama's being weird. I'm going to go see what's up. <laughs> just in case he stabs you in the neck. Can, just in case I go missing, can, Aoyama this, was the last Something about one. this is like... Walker wants to, I want a real sense motive. Like, go, to this... the, go to the fridge first, and it's the third drawer down is some cheese. He likes cheese. Uh, 18 probably doesn't get me. But not like shredded cheese. Get the get the nice mm. wrapped up stuff. It smells weird, right? Mm -hmm. Well, if it smells weird, then it's good cheese to the French. <laughs> yeah. It's what 18, they like. 18 cents motive? Yeah. Total? Yeah. It doesn't smell dangerous, but it's definitely weird. It's the right kind of mold for French. This is a this is the right kind of mold on the cheese, you know? Yeah, I'll go downstairs. <clears throat> I hate you. You go downstairs, um, yeah, he's just hanging out, like, outside the front door and, like, the front porch of the dorm room. Of the, the dorm building, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, and he's just, like, sitting there, and he's, like, he's, like, 
kind of posh Ebenezer Scrooge pajamas with the cap and everything, because that's not a joke. That's canon. Nice threads. Yeah. He like laughs a little bit and like hiccups like slightly, and you realize like he's been crying. Oh boy. And a lot of that going around. Thank you. I am so not qualified for this. You won't get boogers on your shirt. Wrong kind of doctor. Oh, well, you need a real doctor. <laughs> yeah. What's uh? What's What's, what's, what's shaking bacon? Also, don't put that next to me. Uh, I, uh, I know I'm not supposed to ask, but what happened the other, um, uh, the other night? You oh, don't, like that. You don't have to. No, honestly, I think. I think our class has a right to know what. No, don't. How much do you tell him? Yeah, where do you start? Uh, what the fuck like, I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna like. When I was born. And then I put Zhao in this death ring with the guy who killed his dad. <laughs> because <this laughs> Just like, to make some money. Like, for the most part, this is like becoming fairly public knowledge. Pretty quick. No. No? No, no one knows the nature of the raid. They just know there was a raid. Okay. And that there were Nomu. So I'm not... I'm There's got to be like... like a little bit of live leak footage of Power Man knocking... Yeah, there's like Carrion's teeth in through yeah. the stratosphere. There, there's footage like of like silhouettes flying around in the night sky with lightning, lightning striking. Yeah, but I mean, it was a night raid. Hospitals. I'm not gonna like going in and out of hospitals and shit. I'm not gonna. People like, know who was in, like who all the heroes were, but they don't know what their objective was. So, I'm not gonna like lay out the entire plan because I don't trust that Yama that much. Just because I've talked to him all of twice and I pleasant setting mm -hmm. and this is weird but i'll i'll tell him like you know we were supposed to really get a lot done and i guess we did but um you know it came at a way higher cost than we were hoping for we there are heroes dead Some of our friends got hurt. Yeah. I'm sure you were okay. Ah. Uh, That's just for me. I forgot to update earlier. Sorry. Don't worry me. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm pretty hardy. We. Oui. Except for that part where <laughs> I ran out. Of I wish. Yes. Except for that part. Except for that part where like. I ran out of blood. I like, I like, I like ran out of my quirk and had to stabilize at zero hit points. Otherwise, I would. I just want to point out that that hit was going to like kill me. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like, it was going. It wasn't like no death saves. You not pass go. Like it was going to one hit. Kill oh, me. so that were hit, so that, were Zhao and Sue's hits. Yeah. Yeah, that like. I almost yeah. died like three times. Life's good. You know, it was. Um, it was a rough day, hmm. but. We've we've had these with the League of Villains before. Hmm. Uh, so um, it was the League of Villains again. But you guys attacked them. They didn't attack us this time. Technically, yes. Well, but... that's that's good, I suppose. Like, like what? Like this yeah, is roll. this is throwing up so many like so many that like in character like this yeah. Is, why, why is this such a big deal? Then? Yeah. Why does he give a shit? This is the only like this is the first, like he didn't give a shit about USJ. You know he I mean, he was at USJ I guess but like the forest and everything like what 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 do you want me to what do you want me to roll? Sense motive. Sense motive. Uh, that really is the ultimate for this situation. Can can I have prestige sense motive? Absolutely, it's a skill check. Yeah, okay. I'll add... I'll add... Three prestige. This is worth some, this is worth some prestige to me. This is worth some marbles. For 
plus 12, 16, I'm mm. neutral without Yama, plus 18, adding 18. 18. Okay. 13 plus 18, 31. He's just, like, honestly, no one in Class 1A even knows where Aoyama was during USJ, you know? That's Maybe. not true. He was in the fireplace, and I went back for him. Mm -hmm. you went, I know. He went <laughs> back for is this Is this like... He was, of... he was hiding. Yeah, sure. I mean, you know, he was somewhere in there. Was... Yeah. Is this like clicking and like... I crushed the guy like... with his own motorcycle. No, you're just like... He wildly, despite like seeing the least action and having like the least direct influence over all of these like horrific events really seems fucked up. He me. could be carrying like just the most deep seated trauma about this because right. If you think about it, everyone else in all these situations had agency, mm -hmm. you all fought back or you ran or you hid, but you all had plans and you all knew what, what to do right. when things went South and he has hidden a broom closet and been rescued by Zhao Fei. He was, hey caught out in the clearing when those villains showed up and ran away with Zhao Fei. Hey! And Zhao Fei has this, like, huge main character kind of energy among the group, even if he doesn't perceive himself that way. He was walking around at the hero license exam. And, Aoyama, Zhao Fei. and Aoyama is this loser. Whoa. In a country he is not, like, super at home in, among people who are very different from himself. With a quirk that's literally ill-suited for his own physiology. Who doesn't feel like anything that's ever that's happened to him has been anything he could control. Is any of that starting to sound familiar? Fuck off. <laughs> Especially when he uses his quirk and has to poop his pants. Yeah. Also, Jedi Cat. Thanks for uh, following. Out. There's a couple of new folk today, isn't there? It's almost like I want you to be his friend, but also like, that's all true. Yeah. Right? Um, but going. whatever it is, there's something really deep in his in his little brain. You hate him because he's you. Something in his brain is all snarled up in all this, I'm, and he's really fucked up about it. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna lean back and sit next, sitting next to him, and like that. <clears throat> take a take, take a cigarette out. Just, do you mind? No. I didn't think. So. <clears throat> oh, he's cooking. Let him roll. Kitty. When I was a young boy, <laughs> 11 years old, my father, <laughs> um, my sister would have been eight at the time to see a marching band. <laughs> Look at that cat. And we had a holiday from school. Hmm. And our parents sent us with 50 pounds on a bus to the mall in London. You know, go have a holiday. Hmm. And we got there and we were... Just, you know, being kids around the mall. And then something happened. There were two rival street gangs that got into an altercation in one of the food court areas or something, and they started shooting. And the whole mall was pandemonium. And I grabbed my sister and we hunkered down behind a fountain in the food court. And I felt so completely helpless to do anything. And 
I told myself that day that somehow, ultimately, I wasn't going to let that happen to her again. You, you were, you were young, but, and you didn't, you didn't think you had a quirk at the time, right? Yeah. But is it that different? But you took care of your younger sister? Kind of. I lied on the ground next laid on the ground next to her. Was all I could do. And I assume the police or the heroes showed up and Oh yeah, it was it, it, it didn't end up being that big of a deal. Like, no one even really got hurt. Like, they just he started shooting, and it was a big... Everyone freaked the hell out, you know? Gang members don't know what sites are for. Confirmed. Yeah. That, like, I was going to say, statistically, like, most shootouts don't even end up with anyone getting hit. Because they don't know what sites are for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They get all those brand new attachments that the government wants to ban, but they don't cite in their EOTechs. <laughs> Because they don't know how it works. But you did something. No. I told myself I was going to do something. If I were there? I would have frozen. Have. I didn't do anything much different. I had the presence of mind to Duck and go, cover. From, go from standing to lying down, but I didn't think to evacuate or call the police or do anything else. <sighs> Look, I'm, all I'm trying to say is that I understand, maybe, I understand how you feel, but... Miss. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know that. <laughs> the DC was 33. You're all the 31, but you're very close. Just sweet baby Jesus. I just... So many of you are so brave and capable and and you've all been put through so much. I dissociate and become a totally different person who just runs until I'm either dead or it's done. My God. I just wish... You know, brave. I wish I, I wish I could be more, like, you. At the same time, though, you go. You were, you were still at, USJ. Like the League of Villains still, attacked, you too. And if if we're breaking it right down to the mincemeat of things and speaking completely blunt and talking about scales of quirks and things, how much more awful, terrifying, and shitty would it be to be in that situation if you can't magically grow a body that puts peak Arnold Schwarzenegger to shame and punch the lights <laughs> off of anything on God's green earth? How much more scary would that be? Or if you couldn't snap your fingers and bend the laws of physics and reality to separate yourself from a dangerous situation. 
or if you could Oh, it's Ido, not you. Or if you couldn't... If also you couldn't, snap your fingers <laughs> and summon a demonic clown that consumes everything. If you couldn't get seriously injured and just be okay, how, you know, how incredible is it to even stand next to those people with the quirk that you do have that's been through much of the same relative things that you have. It's all scales differently, yeah, whatever, but... Yeah, Kirishima is super impressive. I mean, I know I like getting hit in the face a lot less than Kirishima does because I get hit in the face a lot harder. And I still don't get hit in the face. He thinks about that for a second. And he just wipes, like, the last few tears from his face. I think, honestly, if pro heroes have taught me anything, it's that the really incredible people aren't the ones with incredible power. Yeah. He he takes that in, and he wipes the tears from his face. And after a moment, he kind of, like, stands up. Saved it at the last minute! <laughs> he stands up. Esquivo, esquivo. <laughs> He's just, like, looking up at the night sky for a second. Walker. It's not about my quirk. It is. It's... It's... There are people in our class with worse works than mine. No matter how temperamental their my body may be. It's the person using it that I just wish I could stand beside all of you. And he just he walks to the towards the front door and he's gonna go back inside. Then stand, bitch. I didn't know Aoyama couldn't snap. He really took that to heart. <laughs> <laughs> the next morning, the ship well, is eventful. Tuesday, we get through a day of class and fun, fun, fun. You guys have uh, just another like sta bog standard. Um, double length hero course uh, lecture from all might in his diminished state skin and bones man but on thursday we're gonna do some quirk training it's good hey we need it we're still working on super moves when are we going to your thing he's gonna talk to you guys about the principles of teamwork okay. and making like team combination super moves which he knows some of you in man sword some of yeah some of you already have we have man sword we have uh what was what was your guys' call? Oh, die blood money, blood, blood money, money. Uh, yeah. blood money there's blood money, mansword. There's a uh, grape catapult between Aoyama and and Ojiro. <laughs> uh, Mineta, or, or not? Yo, Jesus Christ! Thank you, Mineta and Ojiro. Slash. Thank you. Yeah, I forgot. Blood, blood money. How do we do that? You, just, you, you just cut like, through Walker and yeah, into like the villain. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <You're>, oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I anoint my blade with my own teammate's blood. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, it's fucking metal, dude. <laughs> blood money's good. But uh, that's Thursday, and you guys have tonight to worry about. And we also have a meeting with the business. Did you yep. and me to have one? Did we? Cat's saying you did. My memory is that of a potato. You're going to have to remind me. When we... oh, that's what it was. It was Dead Man's Hand. Oh, dead Man's Hand. Yeah. Is that what we called it? Yeah, yeah. that was what you called it. Not when we come money. back from our five-minute break... You guys are going to Die. get your new um, uniforms, your new costumes for your undercover work, basically. <gasps> and they're going to give you guys some like high-end shit for that. Nice. And then we're going to go on our adventure, because I don't think there's anything else we need to handle on Tuesday, is there? No. No? No, no, no. Okay. Guys, we're going to take a five-minute break. Make sure you stick around. This has been D20 House. We'll see you in a few. Hi, honey. Bye, honey. Hey, Adriana. 
you know, you're here, I'm here, we're here. Why haven't you liked, commented, or subscribed? It, why? Why? I'm good. <laughs>